Hi, everybody. Well, I've had my surgery. I've had my radiation treatment. And yesterday was my first visit back to the actual doctor to check up on me. And the doctor told me something that I did not know they did during my radiation. So, in case you're new here, just to recap my history, if you will, of dealing with cancer. Um, I used to, I started my cancer journey, shall we say, by having colon cancer. At which point the doctor said I had less than 50% chance of getting up from the table. That's right. I was 65 years old, uh, sorry, 55 years old. And that was the news I got, but I got through that. And then after that, I went through months and months and months of, of chemotherapy. I also had some radiation treatment, but then it was discovered that it spread to my liver and it spread to my lungs. So next I had to go in for surgery because one of my livers was too small. My liver wasn't large enough to operate and take that part out. So they had to clamp it. I had to wait a few months for the, the liver because they clamped it, the other side grows and that made it bigger to cut that section off and then they unclamped it and my other side grew again. And so, yeah, that's what they did to get my liver under control. And then I had not one, not two, but three different lung surgeries over the time, different wedges cut out of my lungs, which has really hampered my endurance, shall we say, like my breathing, like I can walk. I can walk with the best of them, folks. I will put 10, uh, you know, 20 year olds, 30 year olds to shame when I'm walking around on tours and stuff. I can just go like that, East Energizer Bunny. I, I'm, just, I'm just going. But if I have to sprint any kind of distance or climb stairs, that's when my lung capacity just isn't there and I have a hard time getting the air into my lungs. It's not for, it's not me not having the energy to do it, it's me not having the lung capacity to do it, which, which is bothersome, because I like, I'm an active guy. I like to do sports and have all kinds of fun like that. So that is a pain in my butt, for sure. But that seemed to be all behind me when I went in for my last and found out there was a flare up on my adrenal gland, my left side adrenal gland. And uh, yeah, I ended up having to have to go back in for surgery and have my left adrenal gland taken out as well. And then they decided they're gonna have radiation to zap the area where they cut the adrenal gland at to make sure there's no molecules hanging around, no cancer stuff around, around there that can possibly grow and spread someplace else. They're pretty sure they got everything with the surgery, but this was an extra precaution. And so I went in to see my doctor yesterday. This is my, you know, I haven't had a CT scan since then. I haven't had anything like that. No blood work yet. That all comes later on next month. But he wanted to see how I'm recovering from the radiation treatment. And I was, you know, I didn't, couldn't this be done by phone kind of thing, right? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. Or I know I have pains or everything. Well, you better come in and see me. But he wanted to see me in person. And so when he came in, he's, he's, he sits me down. He goes, well, you're looking pretty good. I said, well, thank you. <laughs> That's always a nice compliment to hear. Um, I, I really like this doctor. I've dealt with him before in my other radiation treatments. His name is Dr. Dennis. Really nice guy here in Ottawa. Um, and knows his stuff, knows his stuff, uh, complete faith in this man. And uh, he goes, um, yeah, so he says, I, I really need to check you out. Do you mind if I check you out? So he starts poking my stomach and, and uh, then he goes around to my back and he's checking my back. He's checking around my, my neck and my shoulders. He checks my ankles for swelling and he's going, he goes, well, you're really boring, but I'm really surprised and I go, what do you mean? He says, well, we decided at the last minute to up your radiation dose. In other words, they made it, it was a more powerful 
blast than they were going to do in the first place. They looked at my history, they looked at the flare, they said, let's just go in and make sure that this is done, and they, they blasted it even high. And he says, because of where the location was around all of your organs and things like that, people often have a lot of side effects after that. You know, their diarrhea all the time, their pains in their side, pains in their organs, can't sleep, have trouble eating, uh, indigestion all the time, all these kind of side effects. And he says, uh, you have zero pain anywhere I pushed. Everything seems to be in its right place. There's no um, like bubbles of gas or anything building up or anything like that. And he says, he, he goes, there's no swelling in your, in your, in your body. He says, everything just seems like you didn't have it, which is the best news I could hope for, he says. And I was smiling as he said this because I'm going, well, you know, unremarkable is the way I want to go, <laughs> right? That famous word, unremarkable in a test scan score. And he says, well, you're definitely boring because there's nothing for me to do. He says, everything looks really, really good. Now, I do have to see my oncologist next, but she's going to be scheduling the CT scan to check once again, to see if there's any signs of any cancer. That's how we discovered it last time. Actually, it, what, the CD, CD scan came back negative. It was a blood work that spotted an irregularity. And then when they went back for another CT scan, they decided to go in with a different type of dye, a different contrast. And that's when they discovered the cancer again. And luckily they did because we were able to go in and cut it out. So that's really good news for me that the doctor's really happy with the outcome of the radiation because of, especially since I found out they really dosed me because I, last time I had radiation, I didn't have any side effects whatsoever, any, any, any. And this time I did have some indigestion. I had to take some pills. I, uh, <laughs> I have them right here. I actually took a few of them, but I still have some left but I took the pills each day before going for radiation. And this was to help keep, you know, any thoughts of, you know, being sick down as much as possible. And I had some very big indigestion, you know, it was hard. And no matter what I ate, if I had a bowl of soup or I had pasta, it would be the exact same thing. I would have the same indigestion. So it was obviously the radiation treatment that was doing it inside. But after a week, that subsided and I was fine. And about, I'd say, seven to 10 days after my surgery, my radiation, I was back to being able to do my 10,000 steps a day. In fact, right now, I'm on my crash diet because I was on all those cruises and then I had radiation and all that. And I wanted to get this, uh, I wanted to drop some pounds because I, I gained a lot of weight during that time because I wasn't able to lose weight, wasn't able to gain weight, but boy, I gained weight when I got back home and I wasn't able to exercise. And uh, yeah, so now I'm on that crash diet, I'm able to lose the weight and things are, things are going pretty darn good. So if you're wondering how I'm doing health-wise, so far, knock on wood, I seem to be recovering quite, quite well.